Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here or at Activate Learn on Twitter. It is time for another book review. Yes, I have been madly reading at this time. I mean, what else is there to do on the days off? Okay, there's heaps to do on the days off, but I actually quite enjoy reading. And this time it's Graham Greene's The Quiet American. He's written so many books, you may recognize the name. He's the guy who's written The Power and the Glory. And uh, he wrote this book based on his experiences of the Indo-Chinese War. He was a reporter there. And so that is what it is, is about. Now, when I was growing up, I do remember my parents loving going to a Vietnamese bakery and getting baguettes. And they would say to me, they've got the best baguettes. Go to Vietnamese bakeries because they know French baguettes. And it struck me as really strange because I thought back then, what was Vietnam? Sorry, what were the French doing in Vietnam? And finally, after reading this book, I decided I'm going to actually explore that. And it turned out that the French had colonized Vietnam since the 1840s. So they spent 60 years in another country colonizing it for the purposes of obviously profit and their economy. What else? Why would you colonize another country? And so reading that... And reading this book kind of put two and two together. So what is this book about? It is about Fowler, who is a middle-aged guy. He's a reporter. He's been stationed at Vietnam to cover the stories of what is happening in the country. He has a beautiful local girlfriend, a young girlfriend, 20 years old, named Fong, and whose sister wants to marry her off. And it's also about Pyle, a young innocent American who comes flying in, who knows, who thinks he knows the situation of Vietnam and falls in love with Huang. So what is this about? So it's effectively a love triangle. You've got the middle-aged guy who's got his own issues and problems, but who adamantly wants to stay back and not get involved. He constantly says through the book that he simply reports on the story he does not want to get involved. He has no part in the war and doesn't want to have any part or take any sides. Meanwhile, the young, innocent American who thinks he knows the best for Vietnam, who's not been there before, but who has read the work of York Harding, who has some idealistic view of what should be done in Vietnam, and it's not the American view and it's not the French, but it's a view of a, a melding of what's known as a third force. And so Pyle believes Harding's ideas and Fowler keeps saying to him, do not believe these idealistic ideas that come from a book because this guy has not been in the country, he doesn't really know or understand what is the book about. And Paul Thuong is in the middle as the Vietnamese local and she's stuck between, I guess, the middle-aged guys kind of telling her she can do whatever she wants, and yet he still has a distance from her. And at the same time, there's Pyle, the young American, who wants to take her away from Fowler and to help her see the world and see what is great and also take her back to America and see what life is like there. So what it is, it's a love triangle, but it's also the clashes of the French view um, the American view and Fowler, who is, I guess, um, because he was from England, the UK, UK, kind of like an outside party. But throughout the story, they both get involved in violence. They both play an active part, even though Fowler desperately tries to not take sides. But he sees something that Pyle does and he, couldn't be he can't believe it. And, and what it means, it starts putting questions into his mind about the fact that he does need to take sides. He's there in a country. He's seeing the awful horror and the violence that is inflicted by the colonial, colonialists, the French. But he also sees that they're not going to be better off with the Americans either. And given that this was before Vietnam War, it kind of set the scenes of what America went through during Vietnam that Graham Greene wrote so many years before the actual Vietnam War. So The Quiet American, I thought, was a brilliant book. 
And I'm glad I read this book just to understand the conflict. And I don't just mean the violence and the horror that happened in the country, but the conflict between countries assuming that by putting colon colonization, so I can't even say that word, by overtaking, conquering, colonizing another country in some kind of misguided thought of making it better or allowing the people to be better just because of their perception of what better means was really an eye-opener. So for me, um, this is a very highly recommended read for anyone who wants to understand about um, colonies. And, and this year I actually read another book about something very similar to this. And it was Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness, which is another must read. So let me know what you think. Have you read Graham Greene's book, The Quiet American? If so, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thanks for listening and thank you for watching.